What's up everyone, it's your soul, and Google and other search platforms have been in the news more and more recently, particularly Google with regards to antitrust, anti-monopoly cases and people talking about breaking Google up into smaller companies. There have been quite a few antitrust cases against Google. There's one ongoing for the cryptocurrency ban um, amongst uh, other Silicon Valley companies as well. However, what I want to show you here is a continuation of the thread of basically me demonstrating how Google manipulates search results. And I've been trying to find a case which was finalized a few years ago, which was a class action lawsuit against Google for exactly that, but specifically against social networks and certain businesses, deranking the results of those companies in Google search listings. And I think it took five years for this case to be completed. And in the end, Google lost. And it was like a massive fine, billions of, of euros. Strangely, I haven't been able to find any mention of that online. Um, I'm pretty sure it didn't get thrown out of court later or anything like that, but couldn't find any mention of it. But yeah, that definitely happened. And the only reason I didn't participate in it with my own site, Eureka.org, is because I didn't know about the court case. And you'll find out why I'm saying that. Basically, since when I first launched my site, Eureka.org, which is a social network, which now integrates in the Steam blockchain so people can actually get paid for posting, uh, when I first launched that, it was called infiniteureka.com and it didn't have any noticeable problems with the search engines. It just behaved as I would expect. You could search for the name, you could search for information on the site and it would appear as normal. I changed it a few years ago to eureka.org, which is ureka.org, mainly just because it's easier to type. And not long after that, I found that you really just couldn't find my site anywhere in, in Google search results. And the site has a lot of information on it on many different topics and it just wasn't coming up. And I asked in um, search engine optimization forums and people just kind of looked at it and didn't really have a good answer and said, oh, well, you need to completely start your website again. Really, they didn't understand the way that Google, I would say, blacklists or deranks sites for their own reasons. In my opinion, it's because my site contains a lot of what I would call hidden and denied truth, which whoever's setting these things in Google basically doesn't want to get out. And I, I wouldn't say it's a business decision financially. I would say it's probably more likely a political decision um, by whoever's setting these things behind the scenes. But what I want to show you here is a demonstration of what I'm talking about. And this is a record for myself for the future as well, in case I need it in a court case or anything like that. So right now we're in August 2019 and I've come to this website, netmarketshare.com. Now, I don't know exactly where they get the data from on this site, but it's the main site that I found when looking for the market share split for search engines. And at this point, it says that Google has a 76% market share for searches, with Baidu coming in at nearly 10%, Bing 3%, sorry, 8.9%, and Yahoo at 3%. So, uh, you know, in terms of English language searches, pretty much Google is completely dominating there. So if you have a, a business or a website and your site isn't performing well in Google for some reason, then you're really not going to get very much traffic. And that's what I found with my website, Eureka, you know, very rarely get high levels of traffic unless I specifically personally go out and, and go on a sort of advertising campaign and inform people of the site. So it means that I'm not benefiting from the kind of free organic traffic that sites generally benefit from, even though I really should be. And what I'm going to show you here is just a direct comparison of what happens when you search for just the keyword Eureka in these various search engines. So I'm going to take you across to Bing here, first of all. I'm just going to search for U-R-E-K-A. Now, bear in mind that the spelling of Eureka, you know, usually that word would begin with an E. So you have to make sure that you're searching for the correct spelling. And sometimes these sites will give you the wrong spelling. and You have to choose the correct spelling afterwards. But anyway, here's Eureka, U-R-E-K-A. Do you want res results only for U-R-E-K-A? Yes, I do. Click that. And top one is an advert, um, I think. I'm right in saying, yeah, add. First one, Eureka.org, even though I've asked for U-R-E-K-A, it's given me the wrong one for whatever reason. Then we've got dictionary, and then we've got my site. So my site is basically the first one to come up organically in Bing for the relevant keyword in terms of a site that's focused on that term specifically. I mean, a dictionary and Amazon are not exactly sites focused around the word Eureka, but in terms of that keyword, my site comes up first. Okay, great. That's what I would expect because I never, ever really hear of other sites that use that keyword. Um, I mean, there's a university site here that I think was launched after mine, eureka.co.uk, and then there's these sort of companies and so on here. But generally speaking, 
Eureka.org is the main site with that keyword in it. Let's come over to Yahoo. Do Eureka again. Oops, I'm going to spell it correctly. Um, so this one basically doesn't give you the correct spelling and you have to put a plus in front of it to get the correct spelling search. And so then we have this Amazon again. Uh, we have the same .org.uk again, same dictionary again, and then my site. So it's basically the same listing, in fact, almost. I think, is that exactly the same? Seems to be almost exactly the same, if not exactly the same. Possibly exactly the same results as um, Bing on Yahoo. So, okay. So then we come to Google, and we search for Eure Eureka. Okay. And it's showing us the search for Eureka again. We've got Amazon again. We've got Free Dictionary again. We've got Shropody. We've got, oh, where's Eureka.org? That's strange. More results. Okay, we've got LinkedIn. We've got Eureka.co.uk. There's the one that we saw in, uh, you know, the other sites there. Strangely, Eureka.org's not here. Hmm. So now we're getting pretty... Uh, Esoteric, we're getting, you know, um, projects from universities that use that word. We're, now we're getting into just pages that are totally like, just, you know, not really relevant to the search. They might have the keyword on the page, but they're not directly related to Eureka. Eureka is not the name of the project. Particularly, we've got, I mean, we've got a crunch base page here about another project. And it just gets more and more and more further removed from the keyword Eureka. And we still haven't seen Eureka.org at all. Now, I don't know exactly where my site is at the moment because I haven't looked for a while. You can see Elg.org, which is a site that I post to. And that's actually a review of Eureka.org on Elg.org. So they've actually put a site reviewing my site ahead of my site for the same keyword. <laughs> right. OK. Uh, and again, that's my page on Steampeak coming in above my own website that that's pointing to so something's not right is it um we still haven't seen eureka.org it's going to keep going i'm pretty sure we will eventually find it but we may not it may have just been completely buried again um last time i looked it was there but it was on like page 10 or something like that um but um it's possible we've even gone past page 10 at this point and it still isn't there Eureka.org, right. So we've got a page on Eureka.org. It's not the home page, it's just a page. In fact, that's a page talking about Google censoring, ironically, has come up before the main um, domain name. So I'm just going to double check that in case I missed it. Search for Eureka.org. Yeah, correct. There is no home page listing. Full stop. There's lots of other listings. Um, but the main domain for that search is not even visible. And realistically, people searching for that keyword are not going to just keep scrolling down and down and down and down until they find it. But they shouldn't need to because obviously in these other search engines, it comes right at the top as it probably should do. So there you go. That's, you know, another lesson for the people out there that, that maybe haven't seen Google's censorship in action. We've got the whistleblower from Project Veritas showing how they blacklist many sites. I haven't actually seen my domain name for Eureka.org on any Google blacklist yet, but... I'd say it's, you know, there's a very good chance it's on there. And given that Google actually runs YouTube, which is a social media site, they did run Google Plus until not long ago. Uh, you know, I would say there's a, it's a fairly, um, it's a fair statement to say that they've breached anti-monopoly and antitrust laws by doing this. Uh, because basically I'm running a social network, a community, which is what they've done as well. So yeah, I'll definitely be passing this on to the people that I know that are involved in the class action lawsuits for um, certain things against Google and we'll see where it goes. If you've got any info or extra evidence or ideas that might help me in this, then definitely let me know. And as always, don't forget to like, upvote, subscribe, repost, resteam, reblog, share along. And let's see what we can do to make the world and the web a, a better place for everyone. Peace.